Hey, what's up, you guys? Okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hey, so it's been a it's been a while since I've done a beverage review. I used to post these a lot on my on my Snapchat story. Recently, been posting more on Instagram. So this is gonna be for Instagram and TikTok. I'm trying to spread out the brand a little bit on the advice of my psychiatrist. Anyways, so uh, we're doing a beverage review today. Uh, today we're gonna be trying something very exclusive, something kind of hard to get. I had to get a prescription in order to actually be able to drink this. Um, and as you know, I'm a huge fan of wine, bit of a sommelier. We can talk about that another time. It's really cool though. Um, and um, I'm all a fan of exclusive, hard to get bevies. So when I heard about this bevy that you have to get a prescription for, you actually need to get like prescribed a surgery in order to get it. I was like, I will do anything. I will, you know, perform any sort of role in order to get this, right? So I fabricated this whole narrative about feeling icky sicky the last, you know, whole month of September. There was all these memes about the tapeworm and about dying and our good friend of the channel, Benadryl. Um, and, you know, I got to come clean. Um, all of that was a meme. Not really a meme. It was more character work. Um, it, it was sort of a performance art piece, very much built on myself. It was a way for me to, like, be creative and explore acting. Um, um, and this was all because I, I had heard about this, this, this bevy. Um, this bevy called Clenpick. So this is, in order to get Clenpick, you have to like get scheduled for a colonoscopy. So you have to have something really wrong with you. So, you know, I doctored all these photos of blood in my stool in order to, you know, um, uh, make it seem like I had some sort of acute UC or Crohn's infection. And, uh, and I got my wish. Okay. It only took, it only took, uh, you know, like eight weeks, um, but I got my wish and I'm going to get a colonoscopy um, and I get the bevy. So I get the Clenpick bevy. Now, I could have just canceled my appointment. Like, I got this a while ago, but, you know, I'm stepping out of character now. Um, I'm stepping out of character now to tell all of this to you, but as, I'm as soon, but I'm going to be back in it tomorrow. Okay. That's part of being an actor, right? You have to like, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in, I'm out. That's what this is for me. Okay. So like, you know, we're going through with the procedure tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. The GI guy, super nice. I have to say, I think he was really, I think he really bought into, into my pain and suffering. Um, because this, because he, 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 he gave me, he's going to give me a colonoscopy and an endoscopy. So we're getting it from both ends. Nothing new. Anyways, Clenpick. So we're going to drink some Clenpick. I've heard, I've heard things about Clenpick. Um, here's the beverage review. Okay. They gave me this cup, but I think it's meant for not Clenpick. I think it's meant for the water, which I have been told I have to drink afterwards. I mean, it's kind of, it's very Stanislavski, you know, there's these instructions that you have to follow and these, um, this regiment you have to do. It smells very purple. It reminds me, like, identically of the smell of, like, grapefruit cough syrup, like Tylenol cough syrup. I mean, I'm loving this. Very aromatic. Some sweetness to it for sure. Just, like, a touch of acidity. And then it has kind of that linoleum floor ER hospital visit prior to getting morphined out of your mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it so far. I mean, this is coming off like an excellent bevy. Okay, well, oh, would you look at that? You know, I wasn't giving any notes, and this is a spoiler alert, but it is cranberry flavor. So, anyways, bottoms up, and the devil laughs.
yeah, um, I would say it's a little cloying. Very, um, sweet. Salty. Sweet and salty. Very long-lasting on the finish. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. I was told to drink 40 ounces of water. The last time I drank 40 ounces of water, I was being drowned in the East Hudson River by a horrible grinder hookup. This is so exhausting. You know what? I'm, I'm really good at keeping my cool and keeping my composure, so that probably didn't look too terrible. Um, What's really awful, though, is drinking water. This is horrible. I'm like... I'm like eight ounces in, and I'm... I can't have any more. This is terrible. getting brain freeze, dude. This water is so cold. Um, I think that, um, the Clen Pick very much has a, you know, it smells how it tastes for sure. I found it to be very pronounced in its aroma on the taste, in addition, obviously, to the smell. Um, quite a bit of body to it. Definitely a full-bodied drink. A little lacking on the acidity, but like I said, that salt really kind of carries the, the aromas for a long time. I could still taste it. It has like a nuttiness to it. Forty ounces? Am I a fucking camel? <sighs> okay. Okay, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, oh, thirty-two. Okay, two more. <sighs> two more. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. So I have one more. Because you have to do two. You know, you do one at 4 p.m. And then you get to do another one at 10 p.m. <sighs> wow. I'm gaining a respect for method actors right now. Like, they're really doing it. experience for me. And it's just a lot. And now that I'm here, I'm like at the very end, it's like, 
Wow, that was a lot to go through. It's very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. Okay, so that was my review of Clenpick. Um, overall, I'd give it like a, you know, a good. It's good. Um, I guess, you know, you should try it sometime. Uh, it's going to get a 6.5 out of 10 uh, on the Joe scale. I think that it reaches... I think it uh, hits some highs. Definitely there are some lows, some things I would definitely change in the viticulture and vinification. But overall, I mean, not a fan of the drinking water immediately afterwards. But overall, um, I'd say it's a good, good value. Good value pick. Okay. Bye.